Map app you are seeing right now was created completely by AI in just one prompt, no revisions at all. This brand new AI builder lets you bring apps to life instantly. So let's start and see what we can create today. Alright, so first you need to head over to niles.dev. I already dropped the link in description and pinned comment below. When you first time visit this website, you will see this interface. They've got some ready-made templates if you want to just try out things quickly. And since the tool is still growing, new features and integrations are getting added all the time. So it's kind of still under development but already really powerful. Login is super simple, you can just use your email or whatever option works for you. Now if you scroll down, you will notice two sections here. My apps where you will find all the projects you created and the community where uh, full of apps which is full of apps like made by other people. Pretty cool to see but others are building too. But let's build our own. Here's the prompt box where real magic happens. You can also check out the integrations from here. And honestly this is impressive because it's like currently a new no code builder and it supports almost all integrations such as email, recent, stripe, paypal, superbase and even the discord integrations is coming soon too. They also support open AI and other AI models integrations. So right now it's running on I think cloud sonnet 4 let's see and here you can see it's running on cloud sonnet 4 but you can switch to other models like 3.7, Gemini and few more. You can even upload images as a context if you want. So now let's try building something for us like we can create our own app so let's try it. For that you will need a prompt. How you can do that? Simply go to ChatGPT and describe your idea and it will create a powerful prompt for you. I already have that so I just sent it out and now you can see we have three steps and now you can see it will automatically suggest all the pages that maybe we need in our website. If you don't need you can just select if you need anything you can just select it from this uh, page or if you don't want to any you can just click on just run my prompt and it will run your prompt as well so now we need all of these pages and we can just click on the next button but if you don't mind you can just click on just use my prompt so now on the next page we have to select the navigation bar we have two options to select our navigation bar anyways we can even customize it later with the help of prompt system but now we can select top navigation bar because this is what i like and next next step is here you can choose your design so you can choose any of these if you want to something like pre-built designs or if you want to like new one you can just describe in your prompt so i will just click on the theme base and we will click on like a uh, create app and now you can see here we will wait here about uh, for a few seconds and it will open the main dashboard where all coding happens so you can see it automatically started to describing itself i mean it's automatically thinking but we asked and it started to build our website you can see here it's currently building layout.js and it will write all code for this section so it will enter all the uh, i mean it will generate all the codes for each section and features you asked for that's pretty much what it does now if you want to make changes later there's a discussion mode where you can share ideas or plans plus you can actually earn some extra credit just by giving the feedback so if you want to share your experience you will also get free credits just share your experience here and click on submit and earn credit while it's generating the app let's look around if you click on the code tab you can see the code Niles is currently writing and once your website is finished you will be able to open that code, check everything and even edit it from here. Then we go to analytics section, this will show you how your app is performing in settings. We can adjust things like your app name, database and other options. I will come back to these once our app is ready because first we need to actually see the final output. You will also find theme and design section in your prompt box as well. But we can just explore it later because honestly we need to see our app outcomes. If our app outcomes is looking good, you might not even need to touch it. Let's just wait a moment for the build to finish. Once it's done, I will show you how our app looks like, how to publish and the extra features and options that you get. So now let's wait here. Alright, so we only had to wait about 2 or 3 minutes and look our app is ready. As I mentioned earlier, I asked Niles to build an experience tracker app and here it is. This was the prompt I gave and Niles has automatically generated everything for us. It even gives us a quick summary of what it created, core features like a tracking expense in real time, total spending and more. On the technical side, it's using React with modern tools and local database for storage. Let's test it out. We got all the basic functions here. And now we will test this. And you can see here we have option to edit expense, add expense. And now let's test by adding the expense here. So for that, we will just click on add expense here. So let's say we want to add expense for coffee. Now we will just enter the coffee and we have to enter amount. We can select category because we haven't created any category or it doesn't have any predefined category. So we can just create a new one. For that, we will just click on manage category here and we will create our own category. So I like this part because we can customize everything as per our needs. But if you set predefined, you will have only option those or you can go with the both predefined plus option to add your own category. 
so now you can see here i added this category and now we can just go to add expense and here let's say i want to add coffee expense again here i will enter the title and here i can enter the amount and select category we have food category here now we can just select the date and now we will click on add expense so you can see here everything is working here and our expense is added successfully what's cool here is that everything works right from the start no broken buttons or no half finished features you can delete edit or edit expense or you can add more category and it all just works let's take a look in a full screen mode so you can see it better we still have edit add delete and even the reports page and you will have all the things in working condition without any broken links or anything like that you can see here add expense is working edit expense is working too when you click on edit and we have here is category option and we have the reports option here as well on the reports section you can see all the reports like your monthly spending and all that stuff so now we will just uh, go back in our dashboard and we will see how uh, with this website source code and if we can make any changes to it so now we will go back to our niles and we can just go to code section to see its code so now let's go back and update the code or i mean see the code and if i click on the code section here i will find all the codes that niles wrote for us for each and every section we can just go to any page and we can make any changes to it if you know basics of html javascript or maybe the css you can make these changes to it very easily and if you have to add something extra it's better to give it a prompt and it will add the features for you instead of trying it manually because it's going to take a lot of time because the ai is right the code for you so now you can see here we will go back to our application and we may fall into some error we can just refresh this page to fix this error if you got any major error you will have option to fix that you can just click on fix button and it will fix that automatically for you but most probably you will not fall into any error from here and now you can see here uh, our app is now working again so now let's talk about how you can like uh, add it name maybe the description and all that stuff for that you can just go to the settings pages you will find in the top left corner here just click on the settings pages and here you will find all the options to edit your app like app name app description for app name i think we can set it to like export track maybe and for the description you can enter your app description if you want so currently it's a private project um, it means that no one can see it without you i mean only you can see this project so now if you want to make this public you can make it public too i will show you that too but let's uh, add some description here so i will fix some mistakes from here and you can see here now we have a description ready we can just click on the update button and if you go scroll down you will see the uses app context tokens total tokens so it only consume one prompt you can see the total one credits so if you want some free credits you can just uh, give them a review or the feedback and you will have some free credits too so now let's talk about data and authentication so we haven't even integrated any database or because we are just using local database here and it's not even uh, i will not prefer you to add uh, some database if you're making this as a public project if you are building for you or maybe if you want to share with your friends you can make that or maybe add database but if you are building in a public then you should not add or maybe you can just set it to private first before adding the database so now you can see here we even have the option to backup database where we can make a backup our database from here and here we have the custom domain option we can add the custom domain if you have both so i don't have any domain so i'm not going to add if you have you can just add it from here we have option to add app icons and other stuff here we can add integrations and the main thing here we got app logs too i don't think any other no code builder gives you this here you will find all the app logs and we have the storage setting this is pretty much i wanted to explain you it's better if you go to this website and explore it yourself by building your first app now at the last we can just talk about how we can publish this application for that we can just go back to our main dashboard and here we will find option to publish this app just click on the publish or maybe the deploy button you will find this publish button here just click on it and now you can see here we have options to publish your website so we have two options here either use a free subdomain from niles or connect your own custom domain since i don't have any custom one we can just go with the subdomain as soon as i click on the link the site is now published automatically without step any extra steps and there we go our website is live to test it i will open in a different browser and let's see if our website is working fine there too so now i will use brave browser to test this from a different browser and now we will just paste the link that we just copied of our website and now you can see here our website is working perfectly here too now you might be wondering why the data still shows up even though 
we haven't even integrated a real database that's because it's currently saving to local storage on my device once you connect an actual database you will need to log in to access the data properly but even in the simple setup everything works adding expands categories reports all good here so that's pretty much i wanted to show you today i highly recommend to trying nails to dev yourself because in this one video i can't cover any every features i mean in my next videos i will go deeper into apis and building more complex app with it let me know in the comment what kind of app you would like to build me next and i will give it a try thanks a lot for watching link is in the description box if you want to check it this